Hey, welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. This episode, we're back out here on the beach. I've got a little bit different sunshade here uh, for the copter. I'm going to try flying it out over the like, beautiful day here. A little bit windy, uh, not too bad. So we're going to work on taking this up and uh, seeing what it does. We're just going to do some straight out flying over the lake here. We got probably uh, 8 mile an hour, eh, 6 to 8 mile an hour base breeze gusting up to maybe 10. Uh, we're probably going to head out to those buoys, just do a little exploratory flying. The lake is just a beautiful blue, so uh, you know should get some pretty good video out of this uh, session. So let's go ahead and uh, get ready to take off. We, we're up to 8 satellites now. Got FPV started, so I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, well, actually, I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to take this back. I am going to, I need to start uh, screen recording first. And I need to do that. And um, I'm going to move, I don't know if you can see, I'm going to move my screen recorder over here. And then I'm going to start screen recording, I think. If I get the button pressed start now all right so it's starting screen recording and uh, I think it's screen recording yeah it, I believe it is so all right so let's try this again so I'm gonna go back start lychee and make sure everything's copacetic so I'm at eight satellites got okay, good uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna say take off so, as you see, we're going to take it up, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my typical walk around, make sure everything's okay, let it get its orientation a little bit. I usually like to just let it hover a little bit when I take off. It's looking good. Again, can't beat that view out over the lake that it's got going. I'm going to go ahead and start the video. And so, uh... I'm going to take it up a little bit higher, I'm going to take it out, and I'm about, I'm going to kind of, just kind of keep it going out, and I'm going to yaw it back, because I want to head it out towards those buoys, and I kind of want to keep it rather low, because I want the effect of the water. And just kind of checking everything to make sure it's clear, still well within sight. And uh, we're headed out. I want to make sure I don't run into that buoy. I'm still going. So um, I'm going to have to swap glasses here because I still can't see it. I'm going to, I'm hovering out there. I can still see it. Still a lot of glare in uh, still a lot of glare taking it out still further uh, I'm only out about 400 and some meters I'm only up about three meters. I'm going to kick it up. I want to go up a little bit more just to be on the safe side. I don't want to come up on that buoy and, and end up hitting it. Yeah, we're out about uh, 600 meters. Still going. Even with this sunshade, it's rather difficult to see. I'm going to actually hold it there a second, and I'm going to back up and see if I can't get in some of the shade over here where I can see it, see it a little bit better. I'm going to keep pointing that way so I got signal. There we go. I can see it a little bit better. Still just a lot of glare, so I'm going to yaw it a little bit. So here's the land back to where I am. Now I notice this time around the lychee bird is doing a little bit better job keeping up. So there's the blue water bridge, so I'm looking down lake now. And again, I'm only about, uh, roughly about, I think, uh, nine, 10 feet above the deck. So I'm actually pretty close, 
close down here so I kind of want to make sure I don't get any boats coming and so I'm just watching my distance and my yawn I want to make sure I'm not pushing it down or it's being pushed down by the wind into the water and just kind of yawn it around So I'm just kind of bringing it back around and seeing. Just kind of exploring a little bit. Look at the look look at the waves. What what watch the waves in the video. This is uh, this is pretty cool. Again, I'm so close to the deck. It is really really close to the deck. It's actually making me a little bit nervous. It's that close to the deck. I hear a boat out there somewhere. I don't see it though. Just making sure, because uh, at that level it probably would hit it. Or could hit it. Um, hmm. So again, just... So I'm out. I want to take it up. I want to go up about four meters. I want to hit five meters. Be a little safer distance above the drink. And then I'm going to pan it out, and I'm going to take it out a little bit further. So I'm turning the lychee bird. Okay, so lychee bird is turning, and we're going to take it out a little bit further. And we're going to take it out. So I'm at, still at 80% battery. And I'm approaching about a thousand meters. Yeah, this is pretty interesting. I'm capturing video. I'm at about coming on about five minutes of flight time. And she is way out there. So I mean this Ar this Architect antenna mod is just phenomenal. Um, I mean the distance. I could never reach this distance before with the standard antenna. So I'm running the two panels with the omnidirectional for the control plane. And uh, it's just doing phenomenal. And so I'm now out there closing on 1500. I mean the signal is just rock solid with these panel antennas. just rock solid I'm hitting about 74 percent and I'm starting to get a few glitches on the video there I'm closing on about 2,000 meters, so it's out there a ways. I want to hit the 2,000 meter mark. Okay, so I'm at 2,000 meters, so I'm going to break it. I'm going to take it up a little bit more for safety's sake. So I'm going to take it about 10 meters, which is about 30 feet, roughly. But, I mean, we flew out all that distance on the deck. So, it lost signal right about there. I've got to, I don't know if you can see it, I've got to return to home. I'm going to let it go ahead and return to home because I'm at about 67% um, battery. So I'm going to bring it back in and then... Uh, fly it around a little bit more. So we made it out about 2,000 feet. So I think with the pan, I know with the pan lantern, I, I could have done a lot better than, than this. Uh, but we're bringing it back, just making sure everything is uh, clear. Just checking my surroundings. And now my phone is ringing. Uh, let's see who that is. So, I don't know, somebody from Washington, D.C., so, sorry, can't talk right now. I'm sure it's not Trump, so I'm okay. 
So I'm headed back in. I'm now at about 1,600 meters, so it's, it still has a long ways to come back in. I'm still hanging at about 30, 30 meters, so it really hasn't risen. Uh, so it's, it's still hanging out about there, about the same height I took it up to. So I'm kind of glad I did that. And you can kind of see it uh, at that. I'm going to let it get back into 1,000, then I'm going to probably cancel the return home. Let's see. Eh, maybe not. Maybe I'll let it come back in a little bit further. Because uh, I still got 62. Now, I've, been, I've got a flight time now in the air of uh, over 8 minutes. And so I'm coming back. Let's turn it so the Blue Water Bridge is centered, roughly. And I'm going to gimbal up a little bit to center that as she's coming back. Just a beautiful view of the bridge as it's coming back in. Uh, speed about 35 kilometers per hour. So again, I'm closing in. It should be pretty close. It should be pretty close. It should be coming in any time now. Bad thing is, is I need again. I need to see the glasses to see the screen, and then I, but I can't see the bird with the glasses, and so uh, always a problem. And I've tried bifocals, but I don't get enough of a view of the screen, especially with all the glare. So I'm closing in at about seven, seven hundred. So what I want to do? Whoops! I want to turn it. I want to turn it so it's so I can see it come in towards me. So I should be able to roughly see it. I always hate when it comes back in being able to see it. It should roughly be looking at me. Okay, where is it? There it is. I'm going to tap to cancel. I'm going to cancel return home. So I still have 54% and I'm pretty close to uh, home. So I'm going to play with it a little bit. I'm close. So just kind of get some videos. So there, here we're looking up Lake at the beach. Beautiful bay on the beach. Uh, I don't know if you can see the copter. It's it's up there, just kind of hovering. So we got a nice nice upward view of the beach. So let's kind of pan it around. I'm also the the lychee bird for some reason this time around is responding quicker. I don't know if it's something in the tablet. Uh, I'm still running the screen recording app, and so there's there's down beach. We're looking uh, down beach. So that's a pretty good look. Uh, you see the Blue Water Bridge out there. And uh, we're at 11 minutes of flight time, so battery's hanging out there pretty good. Just again, checking the beach. I had some people coming up the beach, so I wanted to be careful. And again, just sort of hanging out there, checking things out. Uh, there's a boat down there, a small fishing boat. Uh, I was hoping to get some ships today, but mm, so far, no luck on the ships. So I want to just uh, look around back up. And uh, just a beautiful view up that way. So uh, I'm going to take it up this way a little bit more. And I'm going to point, I want to, I want to look at the, uh, there's a Black River uh, spill duck up there. I want to kind of go up to and take a look and then fly back. So I'm flying up the beach and this spill duck comes from the Black River. We've, we've flown down that way before and, and we've seen that. I think I might do some flying around this a little bit later today so uh, again I want to kind of get up about level with it and I'm about 47 percent So I'm about level. I'm going to yaw it back around. So 
So I'm yawning it back around. So you can kind of see the houses. And you can kind of see me back down here. So I'm headed on about 44, so I'm going to now push it, kind of bring it back down towards me. And then bring it back in as it as it begins to come in. Because I'm now at about 13 minutes of flight time. And there it is. See, it's coming back. Boy, that baby's moving. She is moving. All right. So let's now turn her. Whoops, we want to turn it the other way. Turn it the other way, Joe. There you go. And let's get the bird set up. And then let's bring her back in. And I want to turn it a little bit. Yeah, nope, that, that way, Joe. There we go. This should... Uh, bring it back in and then let's bring it down a little bit as we're bringing it back in just making sure everything is kind of clear and let's bring it back down I think I'm actually over land and we're bringing her back down Uh, let's turn it a little bit so you can I'm somewhere over here and here I'm roughly somewhere there I am so you can see me so uh, again I'm gonna bring this down a little bit I'm gonna do a quick walk around This to take a look. So again, uh, so far it's been a pretty good flight of the Phantom. I'm getting really happy with this um, flight performance. So again, pretty good size wind. You can tell it. Look at how it's actually listing uh, because there's a there's breeze is picked up. Now you probably see this uh, flickering. So, anyways, I want to yaw this around. I want to bring this down a little bit. And again, kids, don't do this at home. But we're going to do a grab landing, and we're going to kill the video. I should have killed the video. All right. So we've had another great flight of the uh, up air. Hopefully, I'm getting this in the up air over Lake Huron, so uh, very happy with this flight. We took it out there about 2,000 meters before we lost signal. I'm going to try some stuff with the panel antennas in the future uh, on the control plane to see if we get out there a little bit further. I think I could have canceled it and probably kept going uh, a bit further. I know DJ Soulforce reached out there with this similar configuration about 7,000 meters, which is like, wow, so uh, quite this is a surprising distance. So. Anyways, hopefully you found this an interesting flight over the lake. If you did, give it a thumbs up. The subscribe button's coming up over there. Hit me up in the comments below. Let me know what you had for lunch or what you think. Uh, and hey, I'll get back with you. Cheers.